There's another 15 second trailer. Pretty sure there's gonna be a new commercial like every single day. And there's like five days left. Not even. There's like it the movie's coming out in a few days for pre-release. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so translations, of course, are brought to you guys by Dragon Ball Super Chronicles, DBS Chronicles on Twitter. Make sure you guys are liking and uh, following him on Twitter for these translations. So let's get into this one. Awaken. A never before seen showdown among superheroes. Now that's a real superhero. Oh! Okay. Now, uh, let's break it down. So these first few shots obviously are shots that we've already seen before. Nothing new here. Um, however, actually, now that I'm looking at this again, this seems to... So this shot right here, this powered up, I think... So they, they, they do this transition really well with this shot, right? Or these two shots that I'm talking about. Gohan powering up literally transitions into this shot that isn't i don't believe this is gohan anymore i think this actually looks like the red ribbon army base inside and then maybe whatever is about to emerge from that pod is coming out that's what it looks like at least because the scenery changes like but and it's really quick so it's hard to it's you can barely notice it but i just i could be wrong but you know yeah, it, like it looks like look, it looks like they're inside. You see all this right here? This does not look like they're outside anymore. I mean, you could tell. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. But that's a really good, really good job on them to kind of blend the two together. But again, like you can see from here, they're clearly outside. And then that's that's a whole completely different shot. So anyway, we'll keep going. So we've seen this before. This is, I'm sure this is, the like most updated form transition of gohan i don't i really don't think he's gonna get anything new or anything beyond this like nothing's gonna look different is what i'm trying to say like he's not gonna have white hair or anything like that at least i don't think so he, like i don't think they're gonna do gohan blanco all right for any of my, my gohan blanco fans out there i'm sorry it's not happening okay i just gotta let you know now seen that seen this piccolo of course we've seen that shot before now these upcoming shots i don't think we've seen this one so there's a lot of chaos going on again trailer trickery they're just blending two different scenes together because one goes from like a more of a darkened type of you know evening shot versus during the day i mean all of this can literally be happening within minutes of each other but you know we'll see obviously when that, that does happen and then we've seen these shots before gohan just giving it to gamma one piccolo doing the oh hold on so so this right here is brand new we have not seen gohan throw a kamehameha yet in any of these trailers and this is a beautiful shot i do like this um angle coming from the back freaking ah! oh now here here is something that i was fearful for and it is fat tanks fat go tanks okay now the one thing that we can say is at least good take it for what you will but go tanks this 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 adult go tanks right first time legitimately seeing outside of super dragon ball heroes right the first time we're gonna see adult go tanks is literally as fat tanks and that is crazy now the other the only other good thing i could i could take from this is that the hair is purple and it's not blue right so a lot of folks were wondering now that trunks' hair is blue you know for no reason now right is Gotenks, in base form, gonna have the blue instead of the purple, you know, highlights around, you know, his head. And we see, actually, this was, I talked about this forever ago, but there was some sort of image that, I think it was leaked, that had 
the fat tanks with the purple. So that kind of makes me believe that maybe my inclination of Trunks dyeing his hair blue is more real now? I hope they acknowledge that. I hope they just don't go through the entire movie and not say anything about it because that's really whack. I hate when they do that. When they don't provide like actual and like information, you know, for 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 you know physical changes like that. Because let's face it, I don't know if you guys have heard this, but there's there's I don't know if this is true because I don't really follow all of the hard spoilers. But apparently, one of the wishes that's made during this movie is literally for Bulma to get a a, a fatter ass. <laughs> I can't make this up and I really can't I hope that's not true I really hope that's not true because I know Dragon Ball can be very comedic and it's all about his jokes but like man I'm I don't want that to be a thing just because it's just like people are just gonna be like so drawn in and focused on that booty like yo can we just watch the movie please like <laughs> shut up like that's literally where I'm at okay but ah uh, I just I really hope and, and well here let me go back to go tanks the reason why i'm kind of like upset is that if this is the first time we're seeing adult go tanks usually in the past what they've done is whenever like the fusion fails they usually like remedy that and then they like you know they do it over but obviously according to the rules of fusion you have to wait at least you have to let the let the time drain there's no there's no technique to defuse at least not now right so i'm sure considering looking at how gotenks is battle fatigued i'm sure there's gonna be a moment where there's like there's no time we gotta keep fighting so go, fat tanks is literally about to really be a part of this and we're not we're not you know maybe they're just trying to w make us wait they're gonna make us wait for the anime and i'm hoping that they don't they don't cuck us during the anime again like they did in gt twice and i blame goku for that both times we could have seen an adult go tanks but yeah so we'll see man we'll see so like i said it looks like trunks maybe dyed his hair and, and it's not na his natural hair color because that would i, I mean i don't see why go tanks because Gotenks should have the blue if it was natural you know what i'm saying but who knows right that 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 could be corrected or i don't know whatever we'll 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 see how messed up would it be if if not fat Gotenks had the blue instead of the purple but fat tanks has the purple for like at that point i'm calling toriyama out like what are you doing like come on man you come on like this is ridiculous so I'm pretty sure after this shot, that's it. Ooh, and then go... Okay, so this this right here, this is a callback. So I actually saw this earlier on Twitter, and this is a beautiful shot. This is literally a callback to when Gohan came in as Ultimate Gohan for the first time in Dragon Ball Z, and that's fire. This is actually a great, a great callback, and this movie essentially is full of callbacks, if you guys haven't realized that. It's, it's really full of callbacks, especially for Gohan. Oh, look. Oh, look, this move again. Oh, snap. And look, it looks a little different. It's two laser beams coming up. Hmm. It starts as one. You see that? It starts as one. There's a second one. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Well, now that I take a second look at it, this doesn't look exactly how the other one looked from the other trailer we did last week. Where it was, it looked a lot more like the human extinction attack that Majin Buu did back in the day. This just looks like two beams kind of collided and then it's just an explosive reaction after that. So I don't I wouldn't take that into I wouldn't I wouldn't think too much of that one at the end there. So there you have it. That was the fifth TV spot uh for the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie. Again, the movie literally is having an early release for some of the Japanese uh movie theaters. So it does come out on June 11th, but 
you know, for anyone who's in North America like myself, that's June 10th pretty much because they're a day ahead. But because they're going to have early releases, so Thursday for them is Wednesday for us. So I would keep your eyes peeled for any of those early previews or early raw footage cams or whatever because we're we're literally here we're we're right there it's a few days away and we'll we'll know everything i'm sure like share subscribe hit me up on twitter all that good stuff supporting links will be in the description as always make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves may the power protect to keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside I'll see you guys next time